Hello everybody. Good afternoon to you wherever you are. Good morning, good evening, whatever. I'm just making a quick video because I'm just thinking about all that is happening in our world. We have come to a time where it seems like we are heading towards the fulfillment of the prophecies of Revelation 14 and Revelation 13 with specific mention of verse four, uh, chapter 14, 6 to 12. Everybody needs to know that, that, that particular passage of scripture. The essence of it is that God is sending messengers and it says it's going to proclaim with a loud voice says, Fear God, give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. And it's calling back man to worship, the worship of the Creator. It says, Worship him who make heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. Then, so that is calling back to true worship. Then it goes on to um, see that there will be false worship that will be enforced. And it says, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, that same person will receive the wine of the wrath of God. So, in other words, false worship will be enforced throughout the world and God says if anybody accept it they will receive the, the, the wrath of God the anger of God will be poured out without mercy upon those individuals but on the other hand you will have the saints who keep the commandments of God so on one hand there are those who worship the beast and his image and receive his mark on the other hand the contrast you will have those who keep the commandments of God and of the faith of Jesus. And if you and I look closely, a lot of us um, in, who say we are worshipping God, most of us um, accept to worship God our way. We have violated the Ten Commandments of God, which requires the keeping of the Sabbath. And so it requires worship on the sabbath day the seventh day that god created and made and we have accepted a spurious sabbath a false sabbath which is the sunday in its place so the prophecies are pointing to a time that obviously false worship will be enforced and we believe as uh, believers that this will come about as a result of what we see happening when if you want to understand what is happening right now, first we were forced in this lockdown to wear masks. I said, okay, I'll wear the mask, no big deal. And some of us, most of us comply and we go along with it. Next, we are being forced to um, take a vaccine injection in our bodies. A lot of people are complying. A lot of people decide, no, I don't trust it. There's not enough time to study it. There's not enough um, knowledge about it. There's too much censoring. That is a red flag. There's only one, um, uh, only one narrative that we are hearing about. Anything else will be shut down. That is another red flag. So a lot of people have become suspicious and decide they're not going along. So we have from the forced mass to the forced vaccine and you're told now you can't buy and sell, you can't dine here, you can't go here, you can't do this, you can't do that. So little by little, that's how the devil works. Little by little, the devil is preparing us for the false worship. Because when people comply with the mask, then they may comply with the vaccine just to get back to their normal living and then when the false worship come now it make it so much easier for them to just comply 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 so we are being programmed we are being conditioned to comply but the book of revelation in chapter 13 verse 16 to 18 tells you again that he causes all he forces all small great rich poor free bond doesn't matter who you are who you are movie star your rambo you're Sylvester Stallone, you're rich, you're, you're rich like um, Bill Gates, or you're rich like the guy who owns Tesla. He causes, he forces her to receive a mark in their forehead or in their hand. And that you cannot buy, you cannot sell, you cannot have a job, you cannot do 
traveling. You cannot go. Uh, I mean, the, the prophecy is just clear that no commercial activity will be allowed, allowed to those who don't comply. And we are seeing that right now. When the Bible said no man will be able to buy or sell, it's not just talking about buying and selling, you know. It's talking about involving economic activity. And what the government is, of the world is doing now, they are shutting out their own people and isolating them just like what Hitler did to the Jews. They are saying no buying, no selling, no dining, no going here, no going there, unless you take this thing in your body. And to me, it is looking very much like the mark of the beast that God talk about. The only aspect of it is not um, enforced as yet is the worship. And I keep saying to people, I think that's the next move. Because the devil have the whole world wearing the mask. The devil has the whole world going towards the vaccine. And so the devil will soon have the whole world bowing down and accepting a spurious day of worship, which is Sunday worship. And um, in a, a and disobedience to the Sabbath commandment. That is why I keep on saying, the, when God divided the world into, He divided between those who keep His commandments, including the seventh day Sabbath, which is His worship day, and in contrast that with the people who disobey Him and worship the beast and His image. So that is exactly where I think this thing is going, and I'm watching with bated breath. So the, so the 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 vaccine is not no mark on obese, but the vaccine can be part of the whole scenario scenario of the mark of the beast, and that's why we have to be careful because we I think the vaccine is more like a control mechanism because you know back in Hitler days, Hitler singled out the Jews by telling them to identify themselves with an armband with the star of David. Just the same way now they are telling you, show us your past. Show us, identify yourself. So they can know which side you're on. So my friends, the battle is eating up between good and evil. It is coming to an end because the book of Revelation is the last book of the Bible that should be fulfilled. So people need to understand and wake up and know this is not about a virus again. This is about control. This is about leading us into um, something that God has forbidden, false worship, and we have to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were faced with the same thing. They were faced with death. They were told that if you don't bow down and worship this image, you will be killed. But guess what? They stood up and they said, you know what, king? We're not going to answer you. you know, we know you can't throw us in the fire. But the God that we serve can deliver us. And, but sometimes he, he don't deliver. And he chooses to make us die. Because that is nothing to him. But we still will not bow. They would rather to burn than bow. So we have to have that kind of thing. Where we would rather burn than bow. A lot of people are bowing right now. Both church people, pastors, leaders. All of them are bowing. Because of the job, because of money, because of materialism, material protection. But if you know what I know, we won't bow. We will stand firm like Daniel. Chose in the lions then, we still won't bow. Chose in the fire, we still won't bow. That's what the time called for, my friend. Anyway, I don't want to make it too long. So I just want you to think about this. The word of God, it, it says, heaven and earth will pass away but my word never will pass away it's easier for heaven and earth to pass away than what god says to pass away so the prophecies tell us that with technology they will force everybody to receive this mark in their hand or their forehead and they won't buy and sell and it identify the man who has the power to force people it identified the man as a man who was a number 666 and it is interesting to note <laughs> that bill gates has the patent and the word the number end with 060606 i kid you not and this is where the vaccine is coming from the united states of america and the man the main man who have the patent behind um, one of those vaccine is bill gates and its number is 060606. So it's an interesting time that we are living in. 
I keep on saying it's not the mark. I don't think it's the mark of it's not the mark of the beast. But soon and very soon, soon and very soon, it will become the mark of the beast when they worship thing. And how I think it's gonna happen? Maybe they'll say no movement Sundays. As a matter of fact, it will come permanent. No movement Sundays. Go to church or worship or whatever. Nothing on Sundays. Everything lock. That's when it becomes the mark of the beast because you're obeying God. Oh, sorry, you're obeying man and not God. When God said, remember the Sabbath, everybody said, get, get away with that. That's all undone and gone away. But, but, and so they violate that commandment and they will uphold man's commandment. So God is angry. God is mad. And God will pour out his judgment upon this world when this thing become more ingrained. So let us watch and pray and ask God to help us. Bless you. Take care of yourself and your family. Bye.